You know, Kevin, I've always been fascinated when, when actors uh, get at the crossroads of career decisions. Now, when you left college and you were working in a marketing firm, you know, what was the defining moment when you decided after about a month or so, no, this yeah. is not for me? I, I actually remember it. I remember the, 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 a guy had uh, completely misled me on the phone and then um, took issue with me. When, and I remember asking him two or three times, are you sure this is what? He goes, yeah. Then he came in and he just played a game with me. And I went to the owner and I said, you know what? This guy is screwed. This guy is a punk. And, and, uh, and, then, and he said, you know, he said, well, you know, said, so look, we're in a business where the customer is always right. And I looked at him, I said, I said, I work for you. I said, I took this job, I was so excited. That means I wouldn't let anybody take advantage of you. I'm like working for you. And you just said that to me. And I thought, you know what? The customer is not always right. Sometimes customers are asses. And an employee should, should not have open season on them, but they should be able to be allowed their own dignity. And you as an employee, employer should back up your employee. And I thought, that's how I'll always be. And I ain't going to be it here for you. Oh, I'm sure people, service people around the country are applauding you right now for that statement there. Well, I believe in it. <laughs> okay. Well, a question about baseball. You know, there are a lot of actors like Billy Crystal or George Clooney who played uh, ball either in high school or college and, and didn't go on to the pros. Mm -hmm. uh, at what point in your life did you realize that a pro career was not going to happen and, and how traumatic for you? It wasn't traumatic. I realized in high school probably that that wasn't going to happen and then I realized later in college that maybe it could have happened. And so I had, a, I had a thing where I didn't think because I went to four different high schools and I wasn't going to ever be a drafted kid into a college, major college. And then I started to kind of bloom physically and everything else and, and I knew the game. And I, I realized, you know, I might, might have been able to play on, but I'll, I'll never know. And, and uh, when my decision to become an actor was fraught with, well, I hadn't done school plays and hadn't done that, maybe I can't go on, I thought, you know what? I'm not going to have the same thing happen to me twice. I'm going to, if that's what my dream is, I'm going to follow it through. A hey, question about locations in this film. <clears throat> now, Yankee Stadium, not your everyday location to film a movie at. Uh, did you notice a, a difference in the way the crew acted uh, sh uh, shooting in that area? We acted with the proper amount of respect because it was opened up to us uh, through Mr. Steinbrenner. And so naturally, we, we went to it with a, with a sense of respect. But I like to think the crews that I work with handle that all over the world because wherever we go, we're a guest. And if you're a guest, you should act like it. And that means you have to pay attention. But eventually, we had to do our job, too. But we never lost sight. And they took good control of the situation that while we were there. Were there ever times in between uh, takes that you just stood there and just looked around and just thought of all the baseball memories that had it happened there? I, I had a lot of those moments. I don't take for granted what I do and, and or where I'm at. I knew that anybody that had ever played athletically or dreamed would want to be in that same spot. So it's not lost on me at all. So I, I'm not jaded about it. Okay. Now, a question on the humorous side. This is actually a question I asked you on, on, on Tin Cup about uh, performing in front of a lot of extras. You know, you know Yankee Stadium is famous for, for the fans uh, berating opposing players. Right, right. Now, when you're Kevin Costner and you're doing a scene and you need to throw a strike uh, for a shot and you, uh, maybe it's a little bit wide, uh, what kind of comments are you getting from the crowd? crowd can be really rough. But you know, the great thing about the crowd here was that uh, they were rough, and then when you did it, did it right, they gave it up. And uh, that's what sports is all about. There's no in-between. We had a rough night one night where I finally, after about 20 days, somebody said something, I had had it with them, and I walked off the mound and I said something to them real strong. Kind of really soured the whole experience for who was ever there that night, and, 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 but I was upset, and I just said, and I really picked somebody out. And then I'm, I'm walking back to the mountain. When I'm walking back to the mountain, I hear them really start to gripe at me and say some <laughs> stuff. And I'm thinking, God, why did I do that? Because I had such a great 20 days, and now all anybody's going to remember is this last day. So I walked to the mountain. I think, God, what a putz you are. And, but I needed to say it because this guy was out of line. So I throw two more pitches, and a ball pops up between third base and, and the catcher. And I run over to it, and I see this ball, and I'm thinking, I'm going to catch this behind my back. And I'm thinking, no, if I drop this, they're going to really kill me. And I go, no, if you have any guts, catch it behind your back. Screw them. So it's the, all this as the ball is coming down. And finally, I just went, 
I put my glove behind my back and I caught it. <laughs> Couldn't believe it because I was like a prime candidate to be completely beaten up by them. And the minute I caught it, they went crazy. So in sports, it's like, you know, they probably like beat on this guy who said something <laughs> to me. But you take your chance. You swing for the fence. Great. Great story. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Okay. Wow, that's good.